Led by the State Minister for Economic Monitoring, who is also the Area Woman Member of Parliament of Agago, Beatrice Akello, the leaders say that recruiting LDUs will greatly help deal with all forms of insecurity in the area. Therefore, fighting such those criminals becomes so hard. It is so tactful. You don't, they don't have a front line whereby the UPDF can go and confront them. They come as thugs. So they, buy, they bypass the, the detaches. They bypass the ambush. They come up to the community. Therefore, we resolve that if 5-5, five, five, this reserve force, her parish and be recruited, given firearms, they will help in complementing the UPDF. We have the local people here that can work with them, show them the path, lay good angles, the issue will be sorted. So what we want now, action. We need the local defense force from East Paris, 5555 from every Paris to be given that. UPDF is urged to train local vigilantes to join them to fight these Karamajong warriors. Big decision for this meeting to take. We allow us to go and consult the president about it. The Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs, Vincent Bamlanga Chisempija, who was in attendance, also warned the people of Agago District against collaborating with criminals. We all through, at least now we know who is likely to be a collaborator. And uh, we want you to mobilize and educate our people, not to join these bad people. The, the similar problem we are facing, honorable ministers, the problem they are facing in, in Karamoja, the similar problem we are facing here. <coughs> this is how the similar problem, and that's how we are, we are closely coordination with the third division. Bena Chume, district councillor in Agogo, and others expressed the need to adopt new strategies in dealing with insecurity in Karamoja and the neighboring districts. So I want to pray with government to ensure that the porous borders of Ethiopia, of Sudan, Turkana, Kenya, deployment should be taken carefully there and the place is sealed to avoid or reduce more ammunition or guns coming into Karamoja. The Deputy Inspector General of Police, Major General Jeffrey Tumsime, who was also present, assured the people of Agago of security, revealing that they will install surveillance cameras to help deal with the problem. Leaders have done work elsewhere. They look at these criminals, we can see them from our monitoring center, so that we direct security properly. So phase three, we'll have some cameras here in and the neighboring areas. All this is to, to, to ensure that we are in control of the situation. Fifth Division Commander of the Uganda People's Defense Forces Brigadier General William Bainom Gisha assured the people of East Acholi and Lango that everything is being done, including the establishment of mobile squads, to pacify the area. The Minister for State in charge of Northern Uganda, Grace Trinchui, says that government is committed to develop the region. The government puts Ministry of Northern Uganda especially to eradicate poverty. The pacification bit is, is done from the war situation to our homes. Prime Minister Robin Anaband also assured the people in the region that government has already released funds to work on the roads to improve transport financial year that road will not be worked on but the designs and these are the preliminary activities are already done we are only waiting to get money if we can get a contractor who can do pre-financing well and good but it's not yet we are not yet there other key dignitaries who attended the meeting are minister for tourism wildlife and antiquities Kano Tombutime, the state minister for agriculture major chakula gabuino security operatives and 